Hello LAC 480 students for week 5 of the fall semester of 2018. This week we will continue to look at some research and resources for your paper as we, st as we start trying to focus on your topic. So I'm going to go to the blackboard and this is where you should always go to to find out what is required for the week. Never mind the syllabus, the syllabus is uh, okay, but this gives you the links as well. So always go to the discussion. So this is discussion five, all right? Now you read these two sec these three sections, sections 50 to 52 in the Bedford Handbook. Now, wait a minute, you didn't tell us to buy a Bedford Handbook. That's because it's available at this site, and it looks like this. In fact, it, that's the cover right there. And this is section 50 to 52, so it's about how do you organize your thoughts and how do you look at this if you're in a calendar how do you organize and prepare because that's the big part of this class is getting into the habit of writing and how do you organize yourself so a search strategy so we're gonna, right now if, if you noticed we're doing research we're looking at some possible sources for your paper you already have five and now the next week you'll have another five Okay, so this helps you. There's also another site on the discussion board that you can look at, and this site is here. It's like, how do you start finding sources? Okay, this is just something I found on the web, and it's not the, the best, but it is something that can help you. And these are links that you can go to to find some possible sources, okay? But it also tells you some interesting things. The best sources are academic journals, especially for this class and books. Now the websites you have to proceed with caution as they tell you right there and they'll tell you why and they'll also give you some uh, things about the search engines like Google, Bing, I guess the two of you in this class who use Bing and the one person who uses Yahoo but you'll have to be sure that it's just a preliminary, it's where you start okay so in fact they'll give you another link here that you can look at so the Google searches are great and they can get you started, but not everything is written in an unbiased way. The uh, same thing with uh, uh, with Wiki Wikipedia. Then Wikipedia is a good place to start, but remember anybody can edit that page, and sometimes it's edited in a way that's very unbiased, uh, v very biased, I should say. So be careful of that. So this just gives you some idea as to what you should be looking for for your paper. All right. So going back to the discussion board, so you're going to be, this is what you're reading. You're going to identify five more sources to add to the updated references. Now you have ten. See, we take it by pieces, and you're not doing twenty resources in one week. You're doing five, and you're just writing about them. Okay, you do it the same way as you did last week. So this time you write a one to two page reflection on what the three discoveries from the new information doesn't have to be uh, just between one and two okay it doesn't have to be extensive uh, it's just a reflection piece all right I'm not looking for uh, quotations or anything in that format but just look at it in this way it's something it's for you to reflect on what is happening okay this assignment is due on October 5th okay it is due under the discussion 5 and post it as a word document okay there are a couple of you that still insist on PDF Remember, I can't make the comments that I like to make on those as well as I can on Word, so I prefer Word. Um, so please respond to a classmate's post by Wednesday, October 10th. So this is the assignment for this week, right there. Now, in order for you to get ready for the next assignment, this is what it, you should be thinking about. And it's just to help you out so you're not crammed with uh, stuff to do during that week. So this would be for the week uh, number six. So it says to look at two activities from the list below and choose different types of activities, not watching two movies or reading two poems, and write a reflection about a page on how the experience of these activities has added to your work on your paper. So you can prepare. I'm going to read a poem, a short story, a short play about your topic, or you can an historical event about your topic, watch a TV show or movie related to your topic, visit an art or photography exhibit related to your topic, interview someone related to your topic, attend a public le lecture, or watch a TED talk. So these are things that you can do to add to your resources and get you started to thinking, starting to think in a more focused way about your paper. 
So it's just a different way of finding some information on your topic. Alright, so that's going to be due the following week, but it's just something that you may want to do. It's like if you're going to watch a movie and you're going to, go, oh, there's a lecture next week and you can plan on it, that may be something you want to do. So for this week, you're going to pass in your five new articles. Now add them to your five sources that you already have. Add them to, so I should see 10 on that sheet. Alright, so 10 on that sheet, now having 10 items, and then you're going to write a, just a reflection on three new things that you found from the new information. It's a reflection. And the more you write about re and reflect, the better it helps on your paper. Okay? If you have questions and you're, not and you're not sure of what I've been saying or asking for, you please, please contact me. Alright? So that is it for this week. And I'll s be talking to you next week.